Good morning, folks. We've got activity to see on our star, top weather events and seismicity, and of course, the top science news of the day. Let's get started with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun not much different from yesterday. The smallest of patchy coronal holes is turning through, but no sunspots and no solar flares. But we do have reason to keep eyes on the solar wind. In purple, on the right, a sharp increase in plasma speed is occurring this morning. Thus far, it is nothing major and not producing any geomagnetic activity, but we will keep our eyes on the solar wind telemetry going forward today for further intensifications. Although the sun is now at the end of the 11-year cycle minimum, with no active regions or solar flaring, preparing to start another cycle, there is still reason to watch now. In addition to the coronal hole streams that exist in sunspot minimum, the plasma filaments, which care not what phase of the sunspot cycle it is, continue to dance through the corona, often with violent whip action, and when they release CMEs, it can be devastating, so a constant vigilance is required there. Up next, we're going to Himawari, and we're seeing the upper-level water vapor returns on the typhoon that just hit Tokyo. It ran through quickly, dissipated as it began moving out to sea, but the largest economic hub in Japan was paralyzed for hours as the flash flooding and urban infrastructure exacerbation of the inundation was the cherry on the wind damage. Let's look ahead to tonight. Got a strong system moving through the Midwest and up into Canada today. And we will also look southward to the east coast of Uruguay and inland towards northeastern Argentina. Tremendous flood potential there on that storm. Quick note from India, as they believe a thermal image of the lunar surface reveals their lander about 500 meters from its planned destination. They say it appears to be intact, but they have been unable to operate the device or even make communication. I'm staying updated at their Twitter, ISRO at ISRO. Earthquakes up next. Top of the day struck Central Africa, never like seeing those sequences begin, and we also took a rare event up near the North Pole don't tend to see them up there either. And speaking of earthquakes, folks, there are some journals we check daily, others once a week, once a month, and some just once or twice a year, like this one. Today we get a paper from OJER on the geomagnetic conditions prior to the great 2011 Japan earthquake that caused the Fukushima disaster. They say the geomagnetic precursors began two months in advance, and even during the more turbulent geomagnetic periods globally, they were able to notice the precursor signal. The global electric circuit, geomagnetic fields, and their modulation by the sun is fully described at QuakeWatch.net. Many observers are already predicting earthquakes. Our top story follows that release from earlier this year. You might recall that in recent weeks, the importance of this Chinese study on climate forcing made the unpopular declaration that the major weather cycles in China were driven by the sun. Today, we find a different Chinese team from a different Chinese university making the exact same findings using different data records from a different part of China. Extreme heat, cold, drought, and flooding all tied closely with sunspot numbers, which has implications for irradiance, but most of all for particle forcing. And that's everything. The UN's official climate group, the IPCC, has allowed particle forcing for the first time in the upcoming run of models and analysis. This comes after 40 years of leaning on solar irradiance only, and those who understand the data expect it to utterly upend climate science. Why did they allow solar particles? What is expected to happen with the data? What are the implications of their broadening the perspective on energy from space? The answer comes in climate forcing. Our film put out 12 days ago, linked below, and when sharing it, consider framing it like I did. After 40 years, the officials changed the game. But why? This is why. We greatly appreciate your support. All three movies we released last month are linked below. Website members, you've got a couple new Deeper Look episodes, including on the hikers and plasma scenario we discussed yesterday. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.